Hey guys, today I'm going to directly address my biggest reason that I am not a fan of the Mana Source. You may not have guessed this, but Drama the Llama is not a fan of the Mana Source, other than he produces daily content for Drama Llama to talk about. So let's get straight to it. He treats other content creators very poorly. Uh, this, is, this has happened since the very beginning. Uh, ever since I knew Wedge, I knew Wedge under a different YouTube channel called New Law Student, which was a big channel at the time. He has been super competitive and he has done things that are borderline psychopathic. So he has a, he had a, a giant whiteboard with everyone's name on it and how many subscribers they had. And then he would change it daily. Not like just big YouTubers, all the YouTubers. That is uh, kind of out there. Then we were all part of a Facebook group, a private Facebook group, but it turned out he was part of another Facebook group. So it's kind of like Survivor, right? That's how he views it. Oh, I have this happy alliance of the tribe and we could all be moving forward in the same direction, but I'm going to stab you in the back and I'm bringing Tolarian or Brian with me. Now, when the Darium thing happened, the Darium convention where people did pay money, a certain person in Texas, she paid money for a plane ticket. The convention got canceled, largely due to Wedge not feeling comfortable with his emotions. Now, in that video, which you can take a look, listen to, it's on the channel, Wedge mentions Brian, Brian from Tolarian Community College. Now, the reason Wedge mentions Brian is because he has Brian under his thumb. So he's using it as a weapon against Darium, saying, Brian is out too. How does Wedge know Brian is out? Because Wedge controls Tolarian Community College's actions. And this is something that, why I think he's a psychopath. Because he has to have control over his... Whenever Wedge makes a video and he promotes certain channels, go on the Twitter history and read the public dialogue between those channels. It's not like a random channel he found online. No, these are people who would, like MTG McQuacks, take a bullet for him. And that's what MTG McQuacks does on the Skype video. So let's talk about how he treats Sam. I'm glad that this is public. There is another very popular lore channel that he has treated very poorly and almost made that channel quit making magic content. I'm not going to drag his name in. But Wedge says, might not look it on the outside. I want someone to quote that in the future because I think that will be a very useful meme. Can someone like meme it? Might not look it on the outside. But I'm pretty clued in to the competitive scene. And I have a vote this year. My channel isn't about pro tour level play. But I have friends at that level. Been following the competitive scene for 15 plus years. And have watched every pro tour in that time. And interacted with many pros over that stretch. <laughs> guys. Guys, this guy is voting for the pro tour hall of fame. And I, in the previous video, I said I would give him $1,000 if he publicly voted for me. That's true. I am a man of my word, and I keep my word. I will send PayPal him $1,000 the same hour that he votes for me. I just think that folks who aren't on the floor in the trenches and in the thick of it have all the information with regards to what actually happens at the tournament. Is that fair to say? For what's actually happens at the tournament, do you mean in regards to off-camera cheating? <laughs> That's the first thing. How, our great game. Okay, so the first thing Wedge can think of when he's thinking not on camera is that everyone's cheating. I mean, my goodness. My goodness. How low has Magic the Gathering fallen? And I'll address some other issues about like why I still make magic videos if supposedly I hate this game. I don't hate this game. I just 
don't like the people who are the pillars and the gatekeepers of this game, which we'll get into. This is some intense gatekeeping, my guy. Can you elaborate? You generalize all content creators and minimize our worth in the same post. Like Brian, you have heard of this false assumption that there aren't creators who are invested in competitive magic or have the chops to deserve a vote. Your comments gatekeep the entire medium. We have Weds talking about gatekeeping. Someone meme this, please. I guess whole dialogue can be memeable. Like, it's it's like an episode of the Twilight Zone, and Wedge is our president, and he gets to vote for a Supreme Court justice. And instead of voting for like based on intelligence, legal accomplishments, he's gonna vote on how much how much uh, how many cheeseburgers from McDonald's I can eat. This is how illogical this conversation is is getting. This year, I have the honor and privilege of being on the Pro Tour Hall of Fame Selection Committee, a person who has not a single Pro Tour appearance, a person who his last GP he went to had a $80,000 price tag on the community that the community gladly paid for, and I'm sure the next medical emergency will cost even more because second medical emergency, once you have the first medical emergency for back pain or back problems, you are likely to have a second. Uh, it is just the nature. Those are facts. People will take it as, oh, I wish him ill, but you have to live in reality and those are facts. Those are statistics, right? Data. Hmm. All right. So we have a dude and he's voting for other dudes to be in the Hall of Fame. I guarantee you, whoever pays him the most money, he'll go with. Right now, I've given him $1,000. I'm waiting for his counter. And we'll see. Matt, I don't know why you even try. These people live in their own fantasy. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, people ask me to stop making these videos. But how can I stop making these videos? Like, when every single day, something people... These people live in their own fantasy. This is a guy who's never had a job before, who has student loans, who had his medical bills paid by the MTG community, who went to GP Vegas when he was told not to, who went to Star City Con when he was told not to by his doctor, and didn't even have health insurance to go with. And he's saying other people live in fantasy? Reality is... So I'm okay, like... I'm give me another week of this and then I'll go back to magic content I promise I just wanted to be very clear and document this stuff for future reference because Pico trade I caught that one I caught that one that baby antelope and I want to rip its neck apart and people love Pico trade you know who loved it the most Tolarian and this dude because they were making hand over fist Tolarian this dude in the MTG finance you were making hand over the fist over Pico points just destroying the economy, the mutual economy, and the monthly magic box. These people have a history of telling their followers to join certain scams. I mean, there's no other way for me to identify except the monthly magic box is ran, run from a criminal from jail. I have evidence on it. It's on the channel. And yet we're telling people, casual players, to put give them your credit card. Criminal in jail, let's give them your credit card. <laughs> And heavy medication makes critical thinking difficult. Okay, why is he tweeting about politics? Hmm. I don't expect anything. The Patreon is there for people who want to support the channel, even while I'm in recovery. I don't even advertise it. So the first thing on your Twitter isn't a link to GoFundMe? Hmm. My patrons are the sweetest people alive and have never gotten upset with me over this break due to surgery recovery. <sighs> Using nevers and cap locks is it is a sign of very low and I don't want to say it because people will get mad. People who use ever, always, people who use absolutes, they don't live in reality. Reality, there are very few absolutes. And when I see the language that he and Tolarian are using, especially with Tolarian, he should know better. 
Wedge probably doesn't. But you don't want to ever say never. And you don't ever, ever say ever. It's like Taylor Swift. Doesn't make content anymore. Dude, what is wrong with you? I'm recovering from two spinal surgeries and my patrons know that. Yeah, because they paid for it. I hope they know that. They know the content will be back. You don't know my patrons at all. And it isn't like anything is being hidden. I've been very open and honest about my recovery. Anyone who follows me anywhere or who cares to can see how I'm doing. Patrons included. So, I do promise, I, I will make one promise. I will stray away from this type of drama for a while. But my prediction is another GoFundMe will happen next year uh, for an even bigger amount. And this entire time, he'll be promoting... He'll, he'll be promoting ridiculous stuff on Twitter, like just insane stuff that is cap locks, never cap locks, awesome. I don't know, like it's, you, you ask why do I get so worked up about this guy? And it's the fact I love pork. I lions love eating pork. But I think I've had too much pork and I don't want to eat anymore. I've had my fed. I fed well. There was a lot of tasty pork. But I think I'm going to go without pork for a while. Now, I will have one more video. But the video will just show you funny screenshots of Tolarian. And not really focus on him. But I'll kind of explain the logic behind what I'm doing. I'll make it very simple. I do want to be banned for life. Because then I can do something to Wizard of the Coast. And as of this moment, I have... Not been banned so offering weds a bribe to vote for me is seems like the fastest way anyway bye guys